Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Season 4 NSCRA Team Mobile Cup Series Race 1 of the season here at Daytona International Super Speedway, where it all begins. Welcome to Season 4, guys. Hard to believe we're in the fourth season. And now we are getting ready to do the Daytona 500. 30 laps of action. Let's go down to the starting lineup here. MVC Dicker along the way. Connor Meyer on the board. Today's race starting second will be Sam, Ma Sam and Oscon. Third, Benjamin Miles. Fourth, Trent Dunham. Fifth, Matt McIntyre. Sixth, Alex Ferranti. Seventh, Seth Cole. Eighth, William Brock. Ninth, Mike Becker. Clean the top ten is Phil Parker. Here's your starting lineup. Uh, we'll go through the entire starting lineup here. Patrick Smith in the 18. Start next to him, Dylan Boti. Colin Driver. Charles Samper. Wayne Carson, the champion. P.J. Williams. Ember Ross. Charles Jackson. Sky Commons. Ryan Fitzy. Joshua Balkin. Zach Winkle. Kyle Matthews. Zach Flickinger. O'Neill Baldwin. Zach Rogers. Mason Powers, Kyle Keith, John Art, Levi McIntyre, Ryan Acosta, Cole Beaver, J.D. Bryant, Tim Fiegel, Jonathan Zorlin, Shane Lake, Zachary Fitzwater, Dylan Young, Jake Rogers, Johnny Carter, and in the final row, Jessica Shelton and R.J. Bishop. For the first time, I'm actually very amazed I got the names all correct here, so... Uh, a lot of new faces here. Uh, first, people are making their first ever starts in a, in a series alone. I want to welcome Colin Driver in the 26. Samet Oscon in the 32. Uh, looking through here. I want to also welcome back Ryan Fitzy. Matt McIntyre making a big return as well. As we're about to get command, we'll mention about any others. Charles Jackson, welcome back as well for sure. Uh, let's see here. Dylan Pote making his return in this series. Tim Fiegel making his first ever start. And here's the command. Drivers, start your engines. And there's the command. Patrick Smith making his first ever start. Connor Meyer making his first start in the series here. And Zach Winkle making his first ever start in this series. We have a couple brand new faces. As well as uh, people in the series. Joshua Balkin, he'd never been in this series here before. Uh, neither has Zach Flickinger in the six. Winkle has mentioned, Fiegel has mentioned, Meyer, the pole sitter. Zach Rogers in the 19. Ember Ross, which is Angel Navarro's driver in the 20. Alex Ferranti in the 21. John Art in the 25. Shane Lake in the 33, making his first ever start. William Brock, first start in this series. Cole Deaver, first start in this series, as well as Fitzy. And that is it. Ace car is going to make that dive down the pit road. 30 laps of action. We are about ready to go green here for Season 4. And we are green here at Daytona. Heading in to complete the first lap, Charles Samper will lead at the line there over Seth Cole and Connor Meyer. And now here comes the NSRA president, Seth Cole in car number 24 in the DuPont Chevrolet. These are the 2001 cars for those who are brand new to the channel and missed out on the signups. As you see here, the 2001 cars that were selected for this race, you can see them all right here from car number 24 all the way down to the last car out there, which is car number 97 and car number 96 of Johnny Gardner and R.J. Bishop. But I'll tell you what, though, we're seeing a lot of three-wide racing, which is no surprise right there. The pack racing is really coming into play right now. The main question is how it comes to Daytona, though, is when the big one's probably going to happen and who's going to be there toward the end of the race to win the Daytona 500. This is one of the biggest races that's there in the start of the season, and to win this race, it will take a lot. Now, here comes Wayne Carson, that's your champion from last season. 
has elected to stay in the O2 for this season. Wow, the 24 kind of little umph right there, but hangs on. So Patrick Smith's teammate, Ember Ross, will take the lead. Now the 18 car, keep in mind, was the first car chosen in the signups. So Patrick Smith being the eyes of the first car being chosen when the benefit came. To the last car being chosen was car number 26, Colin Driver, as well as Charles Jackson in the 27. So, interesting scenarios right here. And also, the car that won the 500 last season, which Mason Powers is in right now, trying to take the lead away from Joshua Balkan, you can see right there, who led that lap. Uh, Al Alex Bonsignor is not in this series. So, a couple of different uh, key things heading into this race, that the 500 winner is not in this field. However, the car is. So, there's a whole lot of what-ifs that could happen. But the main thing they say, once the checker flag comes on by, and the first car to cross that stripe, that's your winner right there, folks. Here comes the Sterling Marlin from number 40, Coors Light Dodge of Ryan Acosta. He's... Being led by another beer car. Oh, and the leaders nearly just wrecked right there. I don't know how they kept it together, but Joshua, or not Josh Bacham, I'm, I'm sorry, JT Bryant almost just got dumped right there. Close call, but they somehow kept it together. Wow. That was a close, close call, but they kept it together. The cautions will be on, keep in mind, obviously, because it is Daytona. Main question is, when that caution does come out, who's going to get involved in all that? Here comes John Art in the 25 for Hendrick Motorsports, the Jerry Nadu car. Looks like the two of Bryant blocked the high line for whatever reason. Don't know why. And, oh, boy, Charles Sanford and Kyle Keith not giving a whole lot of room there. And Cost will lead another lap. Now here comes the 44, Zachary Fitzwater. That's the Buckshot Jones. Georgia Pacific Dodge. Very uh, colorful team right there. And here comes Dylan Young in the 92 Kodiak Dodge. That's the only series we'll see Dylan Young. And then, oh, the caution's out. Oh, and we nearly just had another. I think that's Samper that's around. I just seen him. Where are they at? I'm sorry, folks. Where they oh, it is Sam Crash. I just seen the three car. Oh, man. Zach Winkle, Kyle Matthews, Philip Parker, Charles Jackson, Charles Samper, William Brock, Sam and Oscon involved, Trent Dunham, and also Zach Flickinger, caution will wave. I think the 31 and the 5, I think, were the first two cars I've seen on the inside line on that apron, and the 5 limping around. He will not win the 500, will Kyle Matthews. Jessica Shelton is not the leader. It's Zachary Fitzwater. Oh, and... Oh, Dave, or RG Bishop and Seth Cole, a little bit of contact, and same with Wayne Carson. But they're all good. Don't see any damage on all three of them, so that's a good sign, at least. Also damage on the 32 of Oscon, I think I mentioned. Didn't really get to see the damage, but now you know. Oh, Seth Cole's got front-end damage. Come up with a DuPont Chevrolet. I think he ran to the back of Wayne Carson, because you see J.T. Bryant, or excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm so used to J.T. Bryant in the Pinsky Rare, in the Kirk Bush and all. R.J. Bishop, it's actually up at 15th. Where's Seth? No, there's Seth. Where is Wayne? There he is. I don't know who he ran to the back to there. I, I am totally not sure. It may have been R.J. Bishop, because he looks like he's coming down pit road. Caution will wave, though, for the first time today. Zachary Fitzwater, your leader. Let's just look at who's coming down Pitt Road as we speak of. And it looks like one car so far is coming down. That would be Kyle. Or no, I'm sorry. Seth Cole. I'm getting... Bleh. Things are all mixed up today. But Seth Cole, the NSA president, in trouble. And also coming down down is Sam and Oscon, Charles Jackson, and Philip Parker. I believe the three car is out of the race, which we can confirm he is out. It's water currently your leader. Let's go take a look at how we did have a caution early on, and then eventually we had the caution. Let's take a look.
right, let's take a look here what happened. Keeping on the 99 and the 36 you're seeing here, let's actually go to uh, Spectre camera angle here. I want to say it was right here. I could be wrong on this here, but I know that Dugar nearly got pinballed. That's actually no one in this one. My apologies there, folks, on the professionalism right now. It's kind of not up there. But the two car, remember, he nearly got turned early on. I think it was this lap right here, lap four. But somewhere along there, I don't know what happened, but JT Bryant had nearly gotten pinballed. I think it was right here. No, wasn't it. Well, I'm trying to find what happened because... At one point, we could have had a caution. Oh, there it is right here. I'm sorry. This is where it was. Oh, yeah. See, now take a look right here. Keep it on that 9936 like I mentioned up here. Now, Mason, or uh, Levi McIntyre is leaving so much room for that 36. And I, I am so amazed how this was not a caution that could have been there. And it was a terrific save nonetheless. Right there, there's the contact. There's a little bit on J or, uh, JT right there, and somehow they kept that together. I don't know how. So now let's go take a look. That did bring out the caution, though. And it looks like a couple of buddies here. Look at this. All four wide right here. It's Benjamin Miles. I believe that's a 15 of James Qual. No, it's Connor Meyer. My apologies there. And Charles Sanford, Kyle Matthews. And you're going to see a couple buddies right here. Charles Sanford and Kyle Matthews kind of lean on each other right here. And what happens with that, they're obviously going to head toward that inside wall. Now, I don't know what happened, a big miscommunication, but then the communication got back in, and eventually they kept it off the inside wall. That was a great sign right here. However, two problems. One, you're driving on the backstretch, not on the course. That's obvious bad thing, number one. Number two, you're obviously driving through the grass, which doesn't help out of trying to slow down your car. Number three, you're trying to get back on the track, but realize there's a turn coming. So if you notice their speed... They're actually still keeping the speed, not even slowing down at all. And then they realize, uh-oh, there's a turn right here. And this is where it gets really bad and stupid right here. But you take a look. Helicopter camera angle here. Kyle Matthews goes into Winkle and Dunham. Oscon, the 43. And I don't think 31. Yeah, he didn't hit anyone at all. There's, I think, Zach Flickinger, you just seen right there. Let's just go back. Did he actually get a small piece of it? There's uh, Charles Jackson, William Brock right there. 17, 66, they both get on by. Yep, there's the six getting a small piece right there. Great driving by O'Neal Balvin and Ryan Fitzy getting through that wreck right there. Tough break for Trent Dunham, though. Obviously not a big fan of Daytona. And ironic enough, his first Daytona 500 win ever of all time came back in Season 1 of the series. Washes out and take back to the green. Pace cars giving us the one lap to go. Pace cars giving us the one lap to go out of the race after that incident including the following. William Brock, Zach Winkle, Kyle Matthews, um, Charles Samper, Charles Jackson, and S Sam and Oscon. They are all out of the race. Everyone else who got involved got their cars repaired, and they are back out on the track. Zachary Fitzwar currently your leader, starting second. Jessica Sheldon, third. Ryan Acosta, fourth. Cole Deaver, fifth. John Art, sixth. Johnny Gardner, seventh. Jonathan Thorland, eighth. Dylan Young, ninth. Shane Lake, clean the top ten. Mason Powers. Get your top 20. Jake Rogers also forgot to mention a big welcome back for him. Forgot to mention about that too. Zach Rogers in second, unrelated right there. Third, Sky Commons. Fourth, Tim Fiegel. Fifteenth, RJ Bishop. Sixteenth, JT Bryant. Seventeenth, Colin Driver. Eighteenth, Levi McIntyre. Nineteenth, Colin Pochi. Clean the top 10. Emma Ross. As Pace Guard's getting ready to make the indication coming down the pit road right now, we're getting ready to go back to the restart. We're a third of the way complete, folks. And we are getting ready to go back to green flag racing. Now we are back green here at Daytona. Good start by Zachary Fitzwater and Jessica Shaw. Not so much for Ryan Acosta, though. Did not get going. And now here comes the Bobby Hamilton car. For Andy Petrie Racing. Old Deaver. Oh, the 725 made a small bit of contact. They kept it together, though. And now Jessica Shelton working on Fitzwater. And Deaver riding the high line. That's going to cost him. He really wanted to run that inside line, but just couldn't get in there. 
And now it's going to allow Sheldon and Garner and others to pass. I'll just check on the pack. Oh, and Alex Ferranti just left pit road. Um, I don't know if Ferranti's a lap down, but made an uh, unscheduled pit stop. There's Seth Cole in the 24 car. He's way off the pace. And then you have Bill Parker, Zach Flickinger, Trent Dunham, DJ Williams, kind of off the pace. They're just trying to get back up there best they can. I think where Ryan Fitz he's at, maybe Zachary Fitzwater, they'll get up to speed and be up in the pack. I don't know about Trent Dunham. He's in a sitting duck right now, and he's trying. Despite the small bit of damage he has on the rear, it is not really affecting him too much, but you can tell a couple miles per hour difference really does tell uh, the difference between a strong car and a weak car. And, here come, and here's the other Andrew Petrie Chevrolet. That's Shane Lake hitting the lead right there. How about the 36 back in second again? That's probably one of your strong cars today. So Mason Powers got a good Daytona car. We'll see if he can get up there for that win. Now double checking on Bronte's here lap down. No, he is not. Oh, oh, and they, I was just about to say he needs a caution. They almost just did it with the 97. That was something Bronte did not want to hear. It was no caution. Comes to 28 at Sky Commons, the Ricky Rudd colors for, for Robert Yates Racing. Honoring the late, great Robert Yates right there. And now teammates for Ray Everham almost collected each other right there. The 19 and the 9, they keep it together. Jessica Shelton and Zach Rogers. And now Sky Commons, the inside for the lead. Looks like the 66, 22, and 29. Ryan Fitzy, Dylan Pote, Zachary Fitzwater, just outside the pack. They do need that quick caution. If they do, they need to make sure they don't get involved. You can see Joshua Balkin in the one, trying to get into that pack. He's in there, but he's just trying to get in on that inside line. You can see an out Chen Point, Enzo Chevrolet in there. Kind of weird. I've seen Trent Dunneman and the eight. And he's just trying to do what he can. Now Ryan Fitzy, he's going to have no problem. Same for P.J. Williams. Dylan Pote, on the other hand, not so much. And you see Trent Dunham, Pimpel Parker, Zach Flickinger just off the pace. It's really off the pace. There's Ferranti. They are catching the 21 hour. Keep in mind, he is not off the pace at all. He's not damaged. He's just behind because of that pit stop. He really needs a caution extremely bad like within now because if he does not he is in trouble because he could he's probably gonna go lap down and these guys they're, they're still racing aggressive don't get me wrong but at the same time like for Ferranti to get that caution he, he needs it right away especially like this lap because of how quickly these guys are catching him at least 10 miles an hour faster and Jessica Shelton on to the point right now. Led that lap over Kyle Keith in the 93. And now here comes Patrick Smith. And Mike Becker. I can't forget about Mike. A well-known guy who's in the series alone. The only series he, he's run in the main like series of this channel. And for some reason, Mike Becker loves these original cup cars in this series. So, and oh boy, things are about to get spicy right here. Bronte hoping for that caution, and it's not going to happen. And not going to get the block in time. Mike Becker will lead the lap, and Ferranti is now a lap down. That is bad news for the Motorcraft Ford, for, for the Wood Brothers. That is really not good right there. That tough break there. Also not good for Dylan Pote, who's starting to lose the pack. You may get reeled in by these three right here, which is even worse. Here's Joshua Falcon now going to the point. Almost put the four up on the middle was the seven. Of Jonathan Zorland. Fan of the inner cell right there. Being in this series. Also a fan of the 2001 colors as well. Running the, I believe this is the Robbie Gordon. No, it's not Robbie Gordon. This is the, uh... Oh, great. This is going to kill me. Oh, it's not hitting here. I don't know who it is. 
It's not Michael Waltrip. I think it was Robbie Gordon that could be wrong. Robbie Gordon or Mike Skinner. Or Mike Skinner in the 31. Robbie Gordon. One of the two. But anyways, though. As this is still behind Balk. And now they are... Now Zorlin going for the lead. Here comes the 77 of Jake Rogers. An old timer in the inner Tuskegee community. Been around since like 2010. And still kind of here in this series. Kind of still relevant around. But you know what? The old timer still doing what he can to try to finish out race of strong. And for what he's doing in this race, he's doing pretty good. And Wayne Carson's trying to strike back. Here he comes as the champ. Will be across the stripe. Will be two thirds of the ways complete. And the time is ticking. They are catching Seth Cole. That's a scary situation right there because of how how slow he is off the pace. Keep in mind, there's Ferranti. That's something that the 21 did not need at all. Was being a lap down and worse. Now catching up to the slow car, which he could be in a factor of. The Wayne Carts teammate, J.T. Bryant, trying to get the lead. It's the Miller Lite Ford. Now Zachary Fitzwater working his way up to the, at least the third spot. And now they are catching up to the 24. Make or break time coming up right here. Carson going to go to the high line. It's going to work. And the inside line is going to get held up. Now the outside line is going to break free. Now the middle line gets held up. Wow. What in the world? Oh, and he tried to go high. It didn't work. Now he's going to go to the high line. Everyone's scattering, trying to get around car number 24. Oh, McIntyre nearly turned the 26 to Colin Driver. They keep it together. Oh, in trouble, Connor Meyer with the save. Where's the 15? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, and they crash. Caution's out. Seth Cole. Jessica Shelton, John Arndt, Colin Driver, Mike Becker, Patrick Smith. And, oh, it's the 33 of Shane Lake. Whoa, Posey just nearly got the 9. Just about missed Jessica Shelton. And wrong timing for car 21. Oh, wow, the 20 of Ember Ross did not give the 21 any mercy right there. It just totally blocked him. Remember, that's Angel Navarro's driver right there, and I guess Navarro and Ferranti have something in common. I think Ferranti kind of gave a warning to, uh, to Navarro right there, and his driver especially there, as Zach Rogers on the apron right there. As the caution's out with less than 10 laps to go, everyone trying to slow down, get in their correct position. And there's Seth Cole. Obviously, going to have to get out of line. More importantly, just slow down. Oh, John Art. Whoa, they're going to break check and John Art. Shot Mike Becker. Oh. Colin Driver, and i seen the worst one with Shane Lake. Oh, man. Shelton's got a small buckle on the hood. All thanks to Car 24, except Cole. Things went bad to worse. Balkan is the leader. Let's go take a look what happened. Well, this is going to start because of Car number 24 being the nuisance there. You're going to see Myers trying to look like he's going down low. This doesn't see the 20th Sky Commons to his corner panel just on the blind spot right there. And the 15 gets a small hook. He's going to keep it together. Great save right there by Connor Meyer nonetheless. But, yeah, he got really deep on that inside area there. And he's just trying to merge back up to the course. Just misses pit road commitment right there. And, I think you can come right back up the course and nowhere to go for John Art, Colin Driver. Cole Deaver somehow misses that one there. That's amazing of a job. I think the cards, yeah, every single one of them just crossed the start finish line. That was in this pack right there. Ronty gets by. Lucky break for him. There's Jessica Shelton getting the piece. Kyle Keith in car number 93. 
Wow, he gets through all of that right there. Great job by Kyle Keaton. Let's give you a quick look at the 93's onboard camera there. Great job by Kyle Keaton. He's in the back of the pack. Lucky break for him. Let's go on board and show you a full view of this. It's the Dave Blaine throwback onboard camera. Very nice job right there by Kyle Keith. Let's go take it back to the green. Pace cars give us one left to go. Out of the race after, after that incident include the following. Seth Cole, Colin Driver, uh, Shane Lake. They're all out of the race. Ferranti still lapped down in 33rd. Uh, 32 cars still on the lead lap. Probably about 28 of them have a shot to win. Give you the top 10 results here. Joshua Balkin. He's your leader right now. Second, Benjamin Miles. Third, Jake Rogers. Fourth, Jonathan Zorlin. Fifth, Matt McIntyre. Sixth, Wayne Carson. Seventh, Johnny Garner. Eighth, Zach Rogers. Ninth, Zachary Fitzwater. Complete the top ten. Dylan Young. Pace car about ready to make that left to pit road. Here we go. Five more laps of action here at Daytona. Fans are up on their feet. They know they're going to get a good finish right here. And green flag back underway here at Daytona once again. Top three works single file. Here comes Benjamin Miles, wasting no time going for the lead. I mentioned about Robert Yates. Here's the other Robert Yates car. That's the idiot of Matt McIntyre there, unrelated to Levi there. And here comes that, uh, Jake Rogers, excuse me. Like I said, unrelated to Zach Rogers. For Jasper Incorporated there. Or, uh, or excuse me, that's uh, Robert Presley uh, Incorporated. My apologies there. Well known underfunded team there at the time, running the Jasper uh, Ford. And McIntyre to lead. Here comes Wayne Carson. How about Zachary Pitoir coming to the lead? Working their way up. Real quick, you're seeing there. There's cars are definitely not going to win. John Hart, Mike Becker, not going to have a shot to win. And I don't think Jessica Shelton will be the same as well. He can't get up to 195, and that is really going to be a killer right there. Looking here, but Levi McIntyre and Phil Parker, he may, but it just does not look good. Now, lucky break for Trent Dunham and others up in the front. They may have a shot to get up there if they can stay single file, but that's not what the 18 is doing with the 15. Let's see, I'm going to pass you right now. Well, it's going to allow Kyle Keith to catch up to the back, and we have at least 22 cars. Being in this uh, pack win here. For Patrick Smith, Connor Meyer, Trent Dunham, Dylan Pote, even Bill Parker. They got to stay single file. They got to work together in order to be in that pack. Meanwhile, in the pack, Johnny Gardner. A little bit of a gap over Ryan Acosta. Now, the gap's not bad, but the time is ticking. You want to hold on to that lead the best you can. Now Fitzwater getting shoved in the middle because here comes Ryan Fitzy for the third spot. Now keep in mind, too, the 21's a lap down car. You can play as a factor. Cole Deaver may get lucky here if that lap car gets in the way, though. When we cross the stripe, it'll be two laps to go for Johnny Gardner and the McDonald's Ford. For, I think this was... Oh, man, I cannot remember who this was here for the team. They're trying to hold him off there on the Ganassi Dodge of Ryan Acosta. I think those guys in that pack there, they're going to be a little too late. Trent Dunham and Connor Meyer working together. Dylan Pote trying to do what he can. Here comes Ferranti. Pretty wide with some of these cars. Keep in mind, he's a lap down. Acosta now going to the lead. Fitzy trying to get in low. Can't do it. Acosta may be in good hands. The lap car is in a factor way. White flag is out. One more time around Daytona. Who's going to win this? Acosta barely led it the line. No, Gardner led it the line. Barely on the high line. This is where that low line is just too powerful. Ryan Acosta with the lap car behind. Oh, he's going to get kicked up to the high line. Here comes Alex Ferranti with Cole Deaver. Coming along. Can Acosta hold him off? Ferranti, remember, he's a lap down. It's not going to matter right there. Cole Deaver's coming, though. Here it comes. 
Trouble they're wrecking at the start finish line, at least right there. It's the 20 in the comments, the 22 of Pozzi, side by side, heading down the line. Who's going to win it? Checker flag, and it is. What a finish. I don't know who got it. As they crash on the line, it was Sky Comet to the 20 that crashed, and Dylan Poteen on pit road. Oh, Phil Parker also involved. There's Sky Comet. Who won the race? Oh, Cole Deaver got the win over Ryan Acosta. Cole Deaver is your season four Daytona 500 champion. How about that for Andy Petrie Racing? Awesome job for Cole Deaver. He got the win in one of the biggest races of the entire year. Well, that's going to be a big thing on his resume right there. Let's get your top ten results here. Cole Deaver got the win. Second was Ryan Acosta. Third, Ryan Fitzy. Fourth, how about Mason Powers? Great run for 36. Fifth, Johnny Gardner. Sixth, Jonathan Zorland. Uh, seventh was the 17 of... I'm sorry, I'm... I'm a little far who the 17 is there. O'Neill Baldwin. Apologies there. Eighth, G eighth is uh, R.J. Bishop. Ninth is Zach Rogers. Win top 10, Zachary Fitzwater. Cole Deaver, 500 victory right there. Let's just check out what happened to Dylan Poteen, Phil Parker, and others here. That comments was just in the rear of that field. Oh, and they got put four wide. And around they around goes the 28 right there. And it's going to hit the outside wall. Nothing too bad. And then all of a sudden, here comes Dylan Poti coming into the picture. He's going to have nowhere to go. Just gets enough impact. And Dylan Poti's car is done. Sky Commons, you can see, is still spinning around. Where's Phil Parker? There he is. Just went in the smoke. Thought he was all good. Doesn't see the 22 coming along. Trying to break. Trying to go low. Can't do it. Wow, what an impact it is for the Kitseko Pontiac. And real quick, that finish. One one hundredth of a second. Oh, yeah, that was a close one indeed. There he is. Yep. He got it indeed, but that was a close one. What a finish right there. Congrats to Cole Deaver on the victory there. And thank you guys for watching. If you liked, be sure to give it a like, comment, thoughts, subscribe, subscribe bar there as well, and uh, on the channel, of course, by hitting that subscribe button. Of course, don't be afraid to sub to the end of series channel as well. Until then, congrats to Cole Deaver one last time in the Daytona 500 win. And until then, we'll see you for race number two of the season. Until then, goodbye, everybody.